actual spooky stories. <laughs> How much makeup? Yeah, super scary. Dramatic spin. CPS, is that you? Is that crabgrass? Oh, I swear. Here, kitty. <laughs> Kinda fucked up. <laughs> I'm super serious. Goddamn, was I high. <laughs> Discreet viewers only. <coughs> interview attempt, take one, because interviews have takes. Action. I was just an unmarried, middle-aged, overweight white woman with an IQ of 75 at best. But I had a boyfriend and I was living a normal, happy life. Normal, completely normal. A couple of, <laughs> a couple of happy skeptics. You know, just happy skeptics. Let me just reiterate. We were totally normal, happy people living totally normal, legal, happy lives. Complete skeptics. Complete skeptics about everything. Totally normal. But it didn't take long for the spooky story to start. Late one night, I was just having a normal skeptical sleep when a weird dream like I've never had before happened. I found myself outside, walking around in my front yard. Only it was evil. There were quick cuts and lights and pans and zooms everywhere. And then something evil, evil walked out from behind my favorite tree. And I was like, his skin, it's, it's so, there's so much makeup all over his skin. And he was like white and pearlescent. And he, and he looked kind of like Canadian or something. And he spoke to me. He called me by name. He said, hey, Mark. I was like, the fuck's Mark? I'm, I'm Laura Lee. And he's like, oh, I, I got the wrong dream. And I was like, well, get the fuck out of here. This isn't this isn't Mark's dream. It's mine. And whoa, whoa, there was a lot of quick zooms and cuts and shit. And I'm telling you right now, the sound effects were out of control. Ah! <laughs> and it kind of just went on like that until I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream or something. But I knew that that kind of editing, it had to be the real deal. Babe, are you okay? Yeah, and I woke up then too, and that's when I realized skeptic is wrong. When we are asleep, we have dreams. And dreams, you see, they can populate anything that the brain randomly conjures and that's why demons come to our dreams because then we know they're real and we know that they're not just our imagination you know and demons are typically very scary the scarier the demon the more sound effects they tend to come with it's just part of life demons use crows a lot and other cliche horror elements they say to be original is to be holy and that's truly the case of demons it was the most unoriginal thing I'd really ever seen. My whole dream was just one big cliche. Oh my god, honey, look outside. It's the most overdone trope I've ever seen. Oh my god, that's cliche. Later that episode, I was baking cookies, and I decided to open up the oven and get the cookies out when I thought they might be done, you know, as you do. But then when I was reaching in, I suddenly, oh my god, the thing closed on my arm. My paunch, like, hit like the base handle of the oven and it closed the whole oven door on my arm? Boy, it really hurt too. And I didn't even tell y'all the best part. When I looked in the mirror, there was a burn mark on my arm. And something fell off a shelf. It was really turning out to be one of those days, you know. I used gilded nails. Was I not supposed to use gilded nails? That's when we realized the dream, the demon dream. We can blame everything that goes wrong on that dream. The next day I was milling about the kitchen, kind of really doing nothing. And then the music started to pick up. 
I started to try to figure out where that music was coming from because it was really picking up and being really spooky. And then that's when it happened. Out of fucking nowhere. Bam! Just bam! Just bam! And just bam! Whoa. Oh man, that's when I realized I bumped my head. And that was really messed up. How could I have bumped my head in the kitchen I've walked around in 50,000 times? Then I went to the fridge and BAM! Just BAM! BAM! It fell right into the fridge. BAM! BAM! Just like that. It was just a horrible embarrassment. Just a horrible embarrassment. But then that's when I remembered. We're talking about demons, right? That might explain the spooky music. That might explain the BAMs. Oh man. Trippy. Man, that was so trippy. Trippy. Literally trippy. Bam! It happened again! It happened again! Man, and I look like Jesus and everything! How is this possible? It really happened. That's when they decided to get another character involved in the story. I decided that it was best to reach out to get a psychic's opinion on all this bullshit going on. We crept into my bedroom when my boyfriend wasn't at home, and we just looked around and then he said, I sense a psychic power, and it's in me. And that's when I knew he was the real deal. What are you sensing? He was like, piano. I hear you. Oh my god, editing. Editing everywhere. Oh, I can see the edit. Oh my god, so much makeup. It was really spooky. I was, I was spooked. I was fully spooked. And that's when the storm happened. And the special effects were coming out me through the window. And he was like, the fuck's going on? And I was like, I don't know what's going on. There's quick pans and zooms and lightning everywhere. Maybe I'm having another dream. Ow! And there's another quick cut. And the same thing happened like five times, six times. I just kept doing more takes. And I was like trying to fight the window. The, bir the birds were flying there. And I was like, what the fuck are the birds flying there? And then I'm faked by the window. Doll. And he's like, get out of here, demon. I'm like, get out of here, demon. And oh my god, it was frightening. Spookiest thing I've ever seen. Bitch, what is wrong with your house? This soy boy psychic was just crying. I told you I have allergies. He said he had allergies from the wind. But I think he was just a scared pussy. A few quick cuts to that makeup guy and that soy boy, he was out of there. I mean, he couldn't take it. He couldn't take it. What kind of overproduced shit is this, mom? He never acted again. That's when I got high. God damn was I high. Babe? I thought she was gonna overdose. It's not like it would be the first time. Babe! <laughs> never fuck with a crackhead, just don't. The laundry never got finished. So, later that same episode, I, I got in bed of Jesus. Jesus just started shaking and shaking. Like, not just like going and stuff. It was really messed up. And I was like, Jesus, wake up. Jesus, wake up. So I got my boyfriend because he looks like Jesus. Jesus, wake up. Jesus Christ, wake up. And that's when I started hitting him like I did that one time in the kitchen. And I'd be damned if that son bitch didn't throw up. It got everywhere, everywhere. Literally anything bad that ever happens can be blamed on a demon. In fact, it usually is a demon. If you're throwing up, demon. If you stub your toe, demon. The spooky editing. It never went away. Every cliche, even gravestones. Next time on DuckTales, Spooky Closet Stories, poorly understood but quite common sleep paralysis, with monsters, five minute scene repeats after every commercial break, misused technology, Get up, get up, move it.
Come on, come on, get the fuck out of here! Blurry images and a whole lot more. Ow!